Question 25. Here is a diagram of Jim's garden. Note this says it's not accurately drawn, so you can't start drawing lines on or take your ruler and measure it. Jim wants to cover his garden with grass seed to make a lawn. Grass seed is sold in bags. There is enough grass seed in each bag to cover 20 metres squared of garden. Each bag of grass seed costs £4.99. Work out the least cost of putting grass seed on Jim's garden. So we have a multiple stage problem here. We need to know what the area of his garden is, how much grass he has. Therefore, there we can work out how many bags of grass seed he'll have to buy to cover that lawn. And when we know how many bags we have to buy, we can work out what it costs. Now we should notice that the shape of this garden is a trapezium. Two parallel edges, say 90 degrees and 90 degrees, shows that they're parallel. And in the front of your exam paper, you are given a formula for working out the area of a trapezium. You could choose to split this into a rectangle and a triangle, but why not use the formulae that you are given? The formula tells us that the area of a trapezium is equal to a half a plus b times h. If you don't remember what those mean, you are given a little diagram to show what each part of a trapezium looks like. A and B are the parallel edges of your trapezium. H is the height or the distance between the two parallel lines. So if we want to work out the area of his garden, we know we're going to have to half because that's the first part of the formula. We know we have to add together the parallel sides. So that's 12, add 18 we're going to have to multiply this by the height. So we've got 12 add 18 times by 9 and half it. Now we can do this calculation in any order, but we know because of our order of this operation we have to at least do the brackets first. So that leaves us with a half of, oh, so half multiplied by 12 add 18, which is 30, multiplied by 9. You could choose to do 30 times 9 first and then half it. We could half 30 and then times that by 9. You choose which way you prefer to do it. For me, I think I would prefer to save the end as halving and do 30 times 9. 3 times 9 is 27. So 30 times 9 is 270. Giving us an area of half of this, which is 135 meters squared. Now that might be enough to give us at least one mark here, We've possibly even two, because we've done one of the harder calculations and worked out the area. Now, we have to work out how many bags of seed to buy. Each bag covers 20 meters, so how many bags do you have to buy? Well, let's just double check. There's no harm in writing it down, so we're going to look at uh, grass seed. Now, so one bag will cover 20, that's not enough. Two, three, four. So five bags covers 100 meters squared. Six bags would cover 120. So we're gonna have to buy seven bags. Make that really clear so that even if we mess up with our calculations earlier, we know that this is how we've got there. So at worst, we may lose one mark if you make a slight calculation error at any stage. So now we've got seven bags, and we know that each bag costs £4.99. Again, it's your choice of how you prefer to multiply £4.99 by seven. You could do £4.99, add £4.99 and keep going. Personally, I would treat this as £5. So if we do, if we work out the cost here, We've got five pounds multiplied by seven bags, which would be 35 pounds. But I've added on an extra one penny for each bag. So if we take 35 pounds and we subtract from this one penny from each bag, so that's take away seven pence, what are we left with? 
well, that'll be thirty-four pounds and ninety-three pence, which would be the minimal cost because we have to have at least seven bags. So the final answer is thirty-four pounds ninety-three. We don't need to put pence on the end because we already have the pound sign here.